So today I want to talk about privacy, why it's important, and how to get it with our privacy structure. So privacy, as many of you know, is on its way out, right? Like the OECD, the Tax Justice Network, you know, all of these tax zealots, you know, academics, they want privacy to die. Uh, they think everything should be in the public realm and everything should be known because, you know, if you're not doing anything wrong, you know, what do you have to hide? And what they don't realize is it's not about hiding things, right? It's about protecting yourself, right? If everything that you own and everything that you do is in the public domain, uh, especially if you're wealthy, what's to stop people from targeting you, right? For frivolous lawsuits, for extortion, for demanding higher prices when you wanna buy a house, for example, because they can see that you have a lot of holdings and, and maybe you have money. You know, I, you know I've seen, uh, you know, situations where, you know, I've had friends and clients that have been, you know, the, the, the target of attempted kidnappings. Uh, because of, of great wealth, you know? And so it, 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 and these people were doing nothing wrong, right? They're just living their lives. But somehow, you know, that's wrong in today's world, you know, because being wealthy is bad. So everybody should have to know everything. And, you know, you have no privacy. They're going to, you know, take it all away. Uh, be, just because these guys that work for the OECD and the Tax Justice work, Network, just because they have no money, and nobody gives a shit what they have, um, you know, doesn't mean that other people don't have these legitimate concerns with their legitimately earned assets and wealth, right? So how do you get privacy, right? So I think we've seen in, in, in most of the financial centers throughout the world and, you know, and, and throughout Europe, you know, countries have now implemented these beneficial owner registers, right? So if you own 25% or more of a company, or you're a party to a trust or a foundation, meaning you're like a beneficiary of one, or you settle the trust, or you're a trustee, or whatever. You know, you're treated as 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 a you know as, as a as a beneficial owner. And more and more of these beneficial owner registries and trust registries are becoming public, meaning anybody can just go in there and pull up this info, right? So. I, I mean, that's, that's pretty dangerous. I mean, I'm not saying I'm, you know, I'm, not, I'm against beneficial owner registers, period. But I mean, it's a little easier to swallow one that isn't public, right? That like law enforcement has access to. I mean, that makes a lot more sense to me. I don't believe the public has a legitimate interest in, in, these, be public bene in, in these beneficial owner registers, but they're public now, right? So, okay, privacy gone there for any entity that you're in, involved with. Um, then add the common uh, the, the common reporting standard, right? So the common reporting standard um, basically uh, is an automatic exchange of information protocol where every almost every country throughout the world uh, exchanges information on the like bank accounts and financial accounts of each other's residents. So let's say for example you're a resident of Germany, you have a bank account here in Dubai where I live. Every year, the UAE is going to transmit the data about your bank account here in the UAE to Germany. So they're going to know about this. Um, the problem with this is, I mean, look, you know, my clients don't do anything wrong. They don't have anything to hide. So in principle, the common reporting standard shouldn't be an issue, right? They're reporting everything they're supposed to be reporting in, in their home country, you know, all their accounts and everything from, from, from other, every other country and all of their entities that they're involved with from, from other countries. But the problem is that the tax authorities view you as a target if you do anything outside of your home jurisdiction, right? So even though this hypothetical person living in Germany with an account in the UAE may be completely, you know, properly reporting everything uh, in Germany and everything's out in the open, um, before the common reporting standard, Germany would have just accepted this. But now because of the real common reporting standard, uh, this information gets reported and Germany looks at it and goes, hmm, this guy has an account over there. Let's go audit him, right? I've seen this happen with a lot of clients because, you know, a lot of countries don't have a requirement to like report foreign accounts, right? If they generate income, for example, you have to report that. 
or for example, in the situations that I've seen, we've had clients that are directors uh, or signatories on the bank accounts in a co company outside of you know the jurisdiction where they're where they're resident, and then all of a sudden this information goes back to their home country, saying, "Hey, this guy's a signatory on the bank account there." Boom! Their home country government's auditing them. Well, what's, what are you doing with this company? What's this? The dude's doing everything completely correct, but now he's got to spend all this money to fight the government because he's become a target because he's doing international business, basically, is what it boils down to. So if you do any kind of international business, you're suspect, the government's coming for you, right? Because of these beneficial owners and because of the common reporting standard. Now, the government's promised that this wasn't gonna happen, uh, but it is, and it's rampant, like rampant throughout Europe. And so people are now looking for a way how do I get privacy with my assets? Now I'm gonna tell you, a US LLC. Why a US LLC? So first of all, the US doesn't have any beneficial owner registers. As a matter of fact, there's a lot of states where the state themselves don't even know who the owners or directors or managers of a company are. Completely anonymous, right? Um, so you can set up a completely anonymous company where there's absolutely no public information and even if there is public information, it's just going to be like, yes, this company exists because not even the government knows who owns it or who manages it. That's the most ultimate privacy you can get, right? So, and because there's no beneficial owner registers at all, nobody knows who owns this. So now you got your privacy with your companies, right? Um, but what about banking, right? Because if that company has a bank account, um, it's gonna get reported through the common reporting standard, not in the United States. The United States didn't sign the common reporting standard. So if you go open a bank account under this company in the United States, which is easier than opening a bank account in any other country, by the way, and there's like, you know, you can do it in an afternoon and the minimum balance is like a hundred bucks, right? So opening bank accounts in the U.S. is relatively easy. And because they don't file, didn't sign on to the common reporting standard, that information is not going through the common reporting standard to, you know, all these other jurisdictions, meaning this company is completely private. You know, you're not going to get these audits. You're not going to get targeted. You're not going to have these things. And now you're thinking to yourself, well, that all sounds great, but if I have a company in the U.S., I'm going to have to pay tax in the U.S. Well, there you're probably wrong too. So U.S. LLCs are what we call disregarded entities. What that means is the company does not exist for U.S. income tax purposes. So the income generated by the company are reported by the LLC's owner. So you just take the LLC out of the equation for a second and look at the activities of the LLC's owner. As long as that LLC's owner is not engaged in a U.S. trade or business, meaning it doesn't have a fixed place of business like an office or something like that in the U.S., it doesn't have employees in the U.S., it doesn't have any U.S. operations, um, then it's you know, most likely not going to be involved in a U.S. trade or business, which means no income tax. There is a form you have to file with the IRS to let them know uh, who owns the LLC, but getting information out of the IRS, it's like impossible. I mean, there's one of the, uh, they treat uh, tax data very confidentially and that information is not public. So it's still one of the, you know, very, very private. Um, and so using this structure, you can basically avoid beneficial owner registers, avoid getting your data um, uh, transmitted through the common reporting standard, you can maintain your privacy, um, get easy banking, and no U.S. income taxes in most cases. I'll give you another example, right? Like you can also use this LLC to own different properties and companies throughout the world, which is also going to give you, um, uh, you know, a lot of, of privacy, right? Because you're doing business through this company that nobody knows who owns it, you can't get through it, so the privacy is a mess. Now, if you want to add an extra layer of privacy to this, rather than you owning this US LLC directly, you could set up 
a RAC ICC company here in the UAE, uh, there is a beneficial owner register at RAC ICC, but it's not public. Uh, it would take UAE law enforcement to get anything out of it. So, you know, as long as you're not doing anything illegal, you've got nothing to worry about. So what you would do is you set up the RAC ICC company and that way you don't even show up, for example, as the owner in the corporate documents of the LLC, right? Because the LLC has its own corporate documents and even those aren't pub, even those aren't, though those are not public, you still may have to show them to people to open up a bank account or something, right? But if you have a RAC ICC company owning the US company, owning the US LLC, then all the corporate documents say is that this RAC ICC company owns it, right? So when you go open your bank account and stuff, it doesn't even show who the ultimate owner is behind this RAC ICC company. The only person that would show up in the corporate documents of the LLC is the director of the RAC ICC company that's signing it. Um, this is the ultimate privacy protection, and this is super important, uh, especially for wealthy people, but really for anybody who values privacy. And you know, everybody with any type of net worth uh, should value privacy, right? Because um, not everybody has the best of intentions out there for you. I mean, there's a lot of people trying to get rich by attacking other people. So privacy is paramount. Uh, if you're interested in setting up this structure, hit us up. We do it all the time. We know how to do it efficiently and give you the proper advice. We can take care of all your filings here in the UAE and in the US. Um, Check us out online at www.esquiregroup.com or shoot us an email at info at esquiregroup.com. Peace.